see the moonlight on the hotel. Whoa, I'm getting ready. Tell about TV is in the hotel. Whoa, I'm getting ready. Got a corner on the telephone. Yeah, this is the Usher of the Messenger, and you're watching Talawa TV with the host and best. Today, we take it away. My Talawas, good evening. Can't be a good afternoon, or perhaps it is. Maybe it's a good morning, an early good morning for you, depending on where you are in the world. Let me know how your weekend has been. That's one of my main um questions for you guys as always do let me know how you are let me know how your weekend has been so far as you can tell i'm smiling i'm in good spirits um this weekend was all about the reggae boys and the reggae boys have completely are currently dominating the efl sky bet championship that's the english football league championship so much action between saturday and sunday and today what a game what a game between Queen's Park Rangers, Queen's Park Rangers and Peterborough, Queen's Park Rangers, you know who Queen's Park Rangers belongs to, that is the club of Mr. Andre Gray and what a game, I did not, did not expect that at all, I was there watching on behalf of my newspaper, the Voice newspaper and that was definitely worth watching, if you managed to get yourself a ticket to that game you would not have been disappointed especially if you are one of the traveling supporters for Peterborough but we're not going to hype up Peterborough too much because obviously our reggae boy our current reggae boy plays for Queen's Park Rangers so we're going to take it easy there with our compliments for QP for um uh, Peterborough and we're going to focus on QPR later on. So much to talk about. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Back to winning ways. Finally, they needed it. They absolutely needed it. Um, good win. Good, good win. Bouncing back after that midweek defeat at home against Liverpool. I know you're pleased with that. I know you love Saka's goal. Not so much about, not sure about the goal celebration. Let me know how you feel about Saka's celebration. Lovely bit of imp improvisation there from Saka. QPR dropping like bomb. I mean, what a game that was. Like I said, I was not expecting that game. Also managed to get myself an interview. Sorry, my apologies. Managed to get you guys and The Voice newspaper an interview. The Voice newspaper. You guys already know that I write for The Voice newspaper. So I managed to secure an interview for them. And I'm also going to be sharing that interview. Let me know how you guys are feeling. Let me know how your weekend is going or how your weekend has been. Um, we're now appro approaching, steadily approaching that dreaded Monday morning, nine minutes to 12 a.m. here in the UK. Karimi says, I love Luton Town. They're moving under the radar. We are going to be talking about Luton Town. I know you guys know who Luton Town belongs to. Luton Town belongs to. I'm going to allow Karumi to finish that one off for me. And I'm going to get up my notes because I can't do this without my notes. I have to get up my notes. I have to also check that my tab um, are all currently open. So it's easy for me to go back and forth um, with my notes for today. So as usual, you know I'm not going to talk about the reggae boys without talking about the reggae girls. It goes hand in hand. They complement each other beautifully. Just like the reggae boys, the reggae girls have also been in action over the weekend. So there's loads to talk about. There we go. Mr. Omari Bell. You see that bell sign. You know what time it is. That is the club. Luton Town belongs to none other than Omari Bell. Lovely bit of news coming your way, guys, with regards to Mr. Bell and Luton Ten Town and they push, they're pushing up that championship table, that Sky Bet championship table in the English Football League. Let me know. You guys are a little bit quiet. I mean, Karumi, love talking to you, but Karumi is the only one that's feeling in a talkative mood. Can't deny it. Um, I am liking it, but I would also like to hear the rest of you who are um tuning in. I would like to hear how the rest of you are doing. Let me know how your weekend has been. I'm about to go ahead and hits let me actually put something down in the comment section just in case you guys want to join me on air also let me know when you want that player interview because like i said i did get a interview for you guys um whilst i was at queen's park rangers taking in 
Andre Gray's game. So do let me know if you want me to drop that interview as a matter of urgency straight after this live stream or do you want me to leave that one until the morning either way works for me i've done the hard part i've done the recording and the editing there you go guys you're looking at the stream the stream to the live link to join me on screen if you're in a talkative mood um want to talk about the reggae girls the reggae boys or possibly your team i don't know which team you guys support not sure which league you guys support but maybe you want to talk about your team i'm quite comfortable with either um suggestion either talking topic right so let me go over and let me do the usual let me actually put back on my header so you guys can see that tonight's conversation is about the reggae boys mainly about the reggae boys like i said i'm not going to talk about the reggae boys and not mention the reggae girls it will be completely unacceptable but the reggae reggae boys are completely shining in the EFL Championship. And we're going to be talking about them later on. We're also going to go across the pond. Across the pond, that's, that means stateside in the United States. Have a look on the MLS. Lovely bit of news coming from the MLS. Also head over to Russia whilst you're in Europe. Um, so let's get started. Let's see what Mr. Everton Jackson saying. Cleaning up the yard and starting to put... <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> wait a little Karumi says wait a little I'm going to take your advice So Karumi do you want me to give you that one tomorrow I can give you a nice little treat Whilst you have your lunch tomorrow at work Give you that interview there um, Pitch side interview Lovely stadium QPR And big up the people at QPR as well um, The guys in the press area Lovely people to, um, to work with Made my day smooth and sailing No complaints from my end and that's not the first time that I've been to QPR and I've had no complaints so far. I think my first game, first game for like written press when I was at uni, coincidentally, was actually at Queen's Park Rangers. Um, that was some years ago. So yeah, pleasant, pleasant people at QPR. So big them up. Hot Chili, how are you doing? I know you're in some tremendous mood given what's happened with your club in the FA Cup, so I don't need to know, I didn't need to ask how your weekend's going, I already know how your weekend's going, but guys, let me go ahead and hit the shared screen, I've already been talking for almost 10 minutes and I've not actually given you any updates, Um, okay, let me go and, it's the first time that my Mac has asked me to give permission for the shared screen, let me see what's going on here guys, so I can go ahead and give you guys the shared screen, Chroma's lost permission. Okay, so it seems like I need to do some permission to get, get up my shared screen. Bear with me, guys. Um, not really sure why this is happening now, but leave your comments in the comment section whilst I sort out this system preference here on my Mac. This is the first time that it's actually asked me to... Um, whatever it's asking me to do to sort out my shared screen. Slightly odd because it's not the first time that I've done shared screen. So it's saying go to system preference, privacy. Bear with me, guys. Let me just try and get this um, sorted out for you all. Okay. Um, so screen share it's really weird why is it asking me this um okay privacy it's nothing there for screen recording so i don't really know why it's asking me that i might have to just do this one quite basic which would be a little bit disappointing because it simply means you guys won't be able to Sorry, you guys won't be able to have a look at my screen. Let me see what you guys are saying in the comment section. I'm sure you can't see my screen. When is match day? Match day is coming up. First would be Thursday, um, this coming Thursday. I'm assuming you're talking about the reggae boys. Whilst I try to sort up my shared screen, I don't understand why it's not coming up for you guys. Um, but let me try and see if I can sort it out. If not... 
I'm just going to have to just sit here and read out these um, comments for you guys. How's it going? How's it going in the Jamaica Premier League? Which team is high flying at the moment? I'm trying to figure this bit out. Who's, which team is... How is Cavalier looking? Because they should be defending their title, right? How's Cavalier looking? Reject ball. I think there's just an um, issue tonight with... with um, StreamYard, guys. I don't actually think it's anything to do with my with my computer because everything looks good my end cavalera struggling or oh, really why is that mount pleasant is the team to watch why are they struggling what are they what have they done um differently in comparison to last season it's a bit strange um i have no idea why this shared screen isn't working. On it, Garden Waters. I'll be reading that in a second. Is this it? I think I might have found it, guys. Here we go. Um, let's see. Let's see. What is this? No, that is asking me for my location. That is not what I'm searching for. Interesting um, that you guys are telling me that Cavaliers aren't performing well. Happy for the other teams, though. Um, happy to see the other teams do well. This is kind of disappointing, guys. Um, the shared screen, for some reason, just is deciding that it's not going to work tonight. Um, hmm, okay, okay, screen works best, make it. I feel like they've somehow changed the back end of um, Chrome, and I'm just not aware of when the change happened. Clearly, the change must, must have happened between my last live, which would have been Thursday, I think. Because everything was working on Thursday, and now it's not allowing me to give you guys a shared screen. I'm going to keep on trying there. Um, let me just keep on trying and see if I can um, get something to work. This clearly don't make... Okay, privacy. Let's go over to privacy. There's literally nothing there that says... Um, Shared screen, shared screen, screen recording in my settings. How are you guys feeling in the comment section? Should I just move on without the shared screen? Because clearly this isn't going to work tonight. Allow the apps to access microphones. Accessibility. Yeah, there's nothing here that says that. Wonder if I refresh my thing. Maybe if I refresh, guys, and then come back. IT push. I could do with an IT technician. Now I can tell you that. I'm having problems giving you guys a shared screen. Um, That's what's causing the holdup at the moment. Yeah, I think, I think StreamYard is just... I you know, think there's a technical problem with StreamYard. All right, guys, let me try and refresh and then let's see if this works. Bear with me one second. Okay, I'm back. Let's try that again. Let's see if it works this time. Yeah, StreamYard isn't working for me tonight, guys. I think be a little bit disappointing, but I think we might just have to 
I think we might just have to keep it quite basic tonight, guys. So I might just have to just talk at you and you won't be able to see the the tabs that I have open. Um, okay, let me see. Um, this is weird. Okay, let's read this quickly. Let me see what you guys are saying in your comment section. I'm so sorry about this guy. <laughs> it really is. It's so frustrating. StreamYards never asks me for this. Okay, Apple logo, system preference. I'm in system preference. Security and privacy. I'm in security and privacy. Click privacy. There's Okay, I've clicked privacy. There is nothing there that asks for a screen recording. So I just know that the StreamYard is making up stuff. All right, guys, I think I might be in. But it's already clicked. Okay. Um, it's clicked already, though. So, okay, maybe I'm going to try and unclick it and then click it again. That doesn't even make sense. But, okay, I found screen recording. Google will be able to record the contents of your screen. Um, cancel. Okay. All right, let's see if that works now. <laughs> StreamYard is playing with me tonight, guys. It's not, it's not being friendly at all. I've done everything that's necessary. Um, it's gone through the right steps. Am I supposed to unclick it? Click the box next to your browser. You may need to click the icon. If the box is already and check it and then check it late again later, if you see. All right, let's try something else. Somebody's right. Um, StreamYard is against me tonight. I don't know what I did to it, but clearly. I don't know. Maybe I need to use it more often, but it's definitely against me tonight, guys. Another, the screen sharing tips will pop up on screen. Click the shared screen button. Will appear your entire I've done that okay so it's telling me to leave the site and then come back on right so if this ends my stream my stream I'll um, start another stream let's see what happens Okay, right, I'm back. You guys are really loyal. Thank you for not going anywhere. Um, let's see if this has actually worked. I'm trying really hard here, guys, to get this. To yes, thank you. Whew. We got there in the end. Good evening. It's a really good evening now that I've got my um, shared screen to work. Sorry about that, guys. I have absolutely no idea what happened. Um. A little bit annoyed because it's actually closed all my tabs. So now I have to rework something, open up my tabs again. But the most important thing is, um, the most important thing is we can at least go and um, look at those other games that I wanted to look at with you guys, actually. So... It's not all doom and gloom. See what you guys are saying in the comment section before I get um, restarted. Thank you, IT Push. You gave your name, you gave yourself the perfect name. Perfect IT person. You gave me that extra bit of push and here we are. Loyalty. You guys are loyalty. We are up and running. Thank God on a beautiful Sunday. Right, guys. So let's just get started before StreamYard decides to misbehave again. Karumi, guys, Karumi says he wants me to release my pitch side 
interview for those of you who are just tuning in i was actually at Q- i was at queen's park rangers stadium um this afternoon to watch andre gray's qpr take on peterborough in the efl sky bet championship karumi says he wants me to release that one later on the pitch side interview later on good evening owen owen so if you guys are in agreement with karumi let me know in that comment section um and i'll do whichever vote whichever vote comes out on top i'll work with that one right so let's go back and hit that shared screen once more so we can go ahead and get started finally 20 minutes in and i've not gotten started um this is probably the slowest start i've had for obvious reasons right guys let me know if you can see the table this would be the hungarian top division the women's top division in hungary do let me know if you can see the screen if you can't see the screen drop something in the comment section but i trust that you can um let's see let's see which game are we starting off with in hungary we're starting off with the one one the one all you guys might not be familiar with hungary the top division in sorry the hungarian women's top division might not be familiar with that league might not be familiar with the teams but the teams that we're focusing on is victoria and then later on we're going to be focusing on eto victoria is the side for marlo sweatman marlo sweatman and victoria as you can see there guys guys nailed down or registered a one-all draw against Soroxa in their early kickoff um, on Saturday morning. And it's a result that pretty much cements them for the time being in the fourth position, just behind, closely behind um, Tiffany Cameron's and Keynes, Alika's Keynes, Eto FC, sitting out on 25 Point. So you can click on Eto FC. Hopefully this one works and we can see their latest result. And of course we can. This was a cracking, cracking game. This one went down to the wire, guys. Went down to the absolute wire. As you can see there, as I stated previously, Eto FC, Lee Kakin and Tiffany Cameron's team currently sitting in third place. Narrowly, it's quite narrow there at the top, isn't it? Where the second and the third team's concerned. So that's Tiffany Cameron's and Lee Kakin's. Eto FC sitting in third on 25 points. And as I said, guys, this was an absolute cracking game. Tiffany Cameron and Alika Keynes, Eto FC rescued a point at the death, guys, rescued a point at the death in their all important to all draw against Posca. So you can see there, guys, how the table is looking over there in the top division in Hungary. Let me take a quick pause to see what you guys are saying in the comments section because I don't like to just leave you guys and continue. Yes, there there is a nice name. Why QPR farm so bad lately? Maybe because I say it softly that Andre Gray, perhaps, is he doing a lot of the work or too much of the work for them or much of the work for them? Came into that game um, against Peterborough. Three, girl, th- three goals on the trot. Three scoring on three consecutive occasions there for QPR. So he is doing his job. He is handling business where the reggae boy is concerned. So let's go back here, guys, and let's actually go across. Who's on my second list? Let's see if we can actually go across and look at Manchester City. You know who Manchester City belong to. I don't really need to explain this one to you, but just in case you're not entirely familiar with the reggae girls, this is the team belonging to Bonnie Shaw. And as you can see there, Manchester City pretty much brushed aside Everton in the quarterfinals, the quarterfinal stage of the FA Women's Cup. You can see all the details there right in front of you. Now, if we go down and look at what's something that you guys definitely, guys, have figured it out. Remember, whenever I get to this point, I can never scroll down. I learned, I learned just for you guys. So here we are, we're scrolling down. Obviously, if I scroll back up, you guys can't see, you cannot see 
our girl, your girl, Bonnie Shaw, in the starting 11. That is because she was sat firmly on the bench. And on this occasion, there she is, the number 21, Khadija Bonnie Shaw. On this occasion, guys, sadly, Bonnie watched on from the bench as Manchester City defeated Everton 4 0 to advance to the semi finals of the FA Women's Cup. So there she is, guys, sat on the bench. Bit unfortunate, obviously, would love to see her get minutes under her belt. But the waiting game continues where Manchester City. City and Bonnie Shaw is concerned. So there you go. If I scroll up, you can read it for yourself that that was the quarterfinals of the FA Women's Cup. Now, if we go up to the top of my tabs and we click on ranges, ranges, I'm glad that I actually have everything on screen for you. Makes it life a little bit easier there. Um, there isn't really much there that you guys can look at in terms of the starting 11 and so on. But some good news, as you can see there for yourself. The scoreline says Rangers 2, Spartans 1. So that is Chantel Swaby and Kayla McCoy's Rangers. They pulled off a stunning comeback, guys. They came back to came from behind to seal a 2-1 comeback victory in a hard-fought win against Spartans in the Scottish Women's Premiership. There you have it, Scottish Women's Premiership stated right there at the top. So at the moment, they sat one point behind league leaders Glasgow City. Bit of a good um, information to focus on there, guys. You're probably wondering why are we sat in second place? What does this mean in terms of the push for the title? Well, some, some positive news adding to that hard-fought comeback victory. They currently haven't lost a single match, 19 games played. Also, you can see there, games in hand, um, 19, 19 games played there for Rangers. Um, team out in front, Glasgow, they've played 21 games. They've lost one of their match. Rangers, positively, so far, haven't lost a single game. Long may it continue. Let's see what you guys are saying in the comments section. Let me take this off quickly. Yes, she is. She is on the bench. I know it's frustrating because obviously we don't want to see her on the bench. Um, they had a bit of a slow start. It's interesting that you say that, that they're slapping teams from left, right, left, right and centre. Now they are. But of course, when you look at the league table, they're perhaps not where they thought or expected uh, Manchester City to be at this point in the season. They had a bit of a slow start, but they finally, finally, over the last string of games, especially where the league is concerned, managed to find some winning momentum. So hopefully it does continue. More importantly, hopefully we get to see Bunny in the starting 11. Don't like it when I see her on the bench. Obviously, we're not the gaffer. We're not the head coach. We're not the manager. We're not in charge. We don't have a say. The only thing we can do is show up in our numbers and support Bunny from the stands. Um, that's as good as it gets for us in terms of giving her support. Hutchily says she always gets benched. I think the manager must not like her. I think it's to do with their squad depth, really and truly. It's to do with Manchester City's squad squad depth they've got a wealth of talent there both in their starting 11 and also on the bench as well so it's interesting perhaps it could just come down to something that's so simple um manager's choice manager's prefer preferential choice maybe he doesn't maybe he doesn't feel that bunny's suited to a particular game i know it does sound odd saying that but maybe it could just come down to the person the player who is um shooting fine in the back of the net at every given opportunity again it does sound odd because when bunny is given a fair and equal chance she does deliver so it could just come down to i wouldn't say favoritism i'll just say um the manager's choice is preferred choice for the time being but hopefully hopefully um things will turn in the positive and right direction for bunny over the next coming games or so they're doing you saying bulk style so stuff and finish strong hot chili you would say that you're hoping for a strong finish given that you support the their male counterparts so i can see why you're saying that we're going to actually i'm um, close off on the reggae girls guys for now and we're going to go over we're going to look at the efl championship because that is what the bulk of my conversation is about tonight as i said if i could bring up that banner once more reggae boys dominate efl championship that is the english football league skybet championship and they're looking good what i'm going to do now is i'm going to be actually let's see if i can bring up that table 
for you guys. And the table will give you an idea as to why I say that we are dominating. This was a strong weekend for reggae boys supporters, Jamaican football supporters. Yes. Yes, big them up, big them up. Golden, the golden girls, absolutely the golden girls. Ravi, pardon my manners, do forgive me. Um, I caught a glimpse of, your, glimpse of your name and I thought that I gave you a mention earlier on, but clearly my memory serves me well. I didn't, so I do apologize. How are you doing? How's your weekend been? Um, yes, you're right, they are doing well and we're actually going to... Just hit the shared, squeak, shared screen. I'm always fumbling over those two words when I put them together. We're going to head over to the shared screen and go over to the EFL Championship. And I do think you guys can see that. Yes, you can. Okay, let me remove Ravi's comment. And also let me remove my comment as well so you guys can have a clear reading off the table with me. So there you go. You can see the reggae boys occupy that top three positions so at the moment we can almost say at least one reggae boys reggae boy will be coming up to top flight football top flight football being the highest division in the english um football system so they'll be coming up to the premier league at least one of them if you're looking at fulham that's at least two with bobby reed and also michael hector currently belonging to Fulham and then we have Jamal Lowe's Bournemouth and right here Luton Town quite a few of you have been mentioning Luton Town and rightly so Luton Town currently sit in third position right there on 63 points so it's quite nice to see the reggae boys are pretty much tailing each other one behind the other um, Fulham, like I stated earlier on, Fulham and Bobby Reed and Michael Hector are out leading the pack, followed by Jamal Lowe and Amari Bell sitting in third place with Luton Town. So what we can do now, we can go ahead and we can click on Luton Town because they are actually perfectly right on my list with my notes there. So we can go ahead and look at their latest result their latest result um nice to see that they've actually um, registered two wins on the bounce last defeat was against qpr that is queen's park rangers the club belonging to andre gray they gave them a 2-1 defeat on their home soil um but they bounced back against daniel johnson's preston north end midweek fixture there lovely 4-0 win and they've gone and they've pushed on a little bit further against hull city there you go great reading if you are a reggae boys fan and even bigger reading when you scroll down when i scroll down and i'll go all the way to the bottom and give you guys something that i know you would definitely definitely want to read and there we have it at the bottom the first goal scored by Adebayo and have a look at the person who created that assist that is none other than Omari Bell. Omari Bell provided this provided an assist for Luton Town's opening goal as the Hatters moved up to third in the EFL championship table with a 3-1 victory over Hull City let me see what you guys are saying over here in the comment section. Fulham are <laughs> going to get back to you guys um, on that. It's all over the place tonight with the um, the, the technical stuff from the back end side with me, guys. Amara Bell is having a great season. I can echo that. He is having a strong season, isn't he? So we can go ahead. Let me go back over to the championship and let me bring up another team. I didn't actually pick them up in the table. Rude of me. So let me go down and scroll. And if you see me scrolling, you know exactly where I'm heading. I'm heading to the bottom of the table for Derby County. And you know who Derby County plays for. But in case you don't, let's give you a friendly reminder it is the club belonging to Ravel Morrison so as you can see there for yourself guys you can see that one all draw there at home against Coventry and as you can see this um the screen final score doesn't lie in the championship 
Robert Morrison and Darby fought, fought hard to rescue a point in a one all draw against Coventry. And that game was played on Saturday. Um, good result. Perhaps they would have definitely would have wanted three points. But as you can see, Coventry opened the scoring in the 28th minute. Um, nice to see a bit of determination, a bit of fight there from Derby to come back and nick a point. Um, a much needed point doesn't really do much for them in terms of where they sit uh, in the on the table. They're still rock bottom, 24 out there on 25 points. Um, so it's not looking, it's not fantastic reading. For them, but at least they didn't lose. The next team on my list, if I can go through, we're actually going to scroll up a little bit. We're going to go back to the number two, the number two side sitting in second place. Again, let's give you a friendly reminder that that is the club belonging to Jamal Lowe. And if we look at their latest victory, that's a huge, huge win. And I say a huge win right there. For you guys on screen against Huddersfield away from home. I say it's a huge win because if we go back and look at Huddersfield, Huddersfield is right there in the number four position. So if we go back and look at Bournemouth, click on Bournemouth or perhaps I have to go back a little bit. Don't really know why it's not allowing me. Yes, it is. Click on Bournemouth and Huddersfield. A good read in there. If again, if you are a reggae boys fan, as you can see, Jamal Lowe and Bournemouth registered a 3 0 win over fellow championship high flyers, Huddersfield Town. And they are high flyers because Bournemouth currently sit in second place. And as I showed you, the table says Huddersfield said sit currently in fourth place. So let's just close that because. That's that for the championship. I'm going to leave the game that I was at today. I'm going to leave that one to last because that was a huge, huge, huge game. So I'm going to leave that one to last. So we're going to come back and talk about the QPR game. Again, let me know if you want that, pro um, that interview there from Queen's Park Rangers defeat against Peterborough. Let me know if you want that pitch side interview today or if you want that tomorrow. So far, Karumi saying he wants it later on. So Karumi emphasizing what later on means for me. Does that mean tomorrow or does that mean at the end of this live stream? It's so crazy. Bobby, Bobby Reed looks so well in Fulham jersey, but for Jamaica, he just looks out of it. There's an argument there for just about every player that plays for the men's team um in terms of not looking like their usual self when they link up with their compatriots in comparison to what they do for their club yeah yeah we're fully fully aware of that one um that definitely hasn't helped darby's case but they're still the table doesn't lie does it they're still struggling even after the points deduction the situation, they are still struggling. Last you saying you want that at the end? You want the you want the pick side interview at the end, Karumi? All right, guys. So let's go over to the state side. Let's go state side. So let's look at MLS uh football. I'm gonna bring back up that shared screen because I trust that it's not on for you guys. So I'm going to bring up that shared screen in a bit. But let me bring up my teams, the teams, the two teams that I want to look at in the MLS. As you can imagine, there's plenty of teams here to talk about. So let's try and find the appropriate team before I bring them up on my screen. Okay, perfect. They're sat side by side each other. So let's go back over here and turn on the shared screen for you guys once more. And now we are actually... Stateside, going stateside, going to the MLS. So we're going to click on Cincinnati, Cincinnati versus Inter Miami. And you know who he plays for Cincinnati. Let's look at the lineups just to give you guys a gentle reminder. There you go. You have Alves Powell. Just to click on his name for a bit of verification there for you guys, just to verify that. Uh, and if we scroll down and look in defense, for Inter Miami, you will see D-Low, meaning 
Damien Lowe. So that is, we're going to call this the Battle of the Reggae Boys there in the Major League Soccer. Alvis Powell versus Damien Lowe. And on this occasion, Alvis Powell came out on top 3-1 winners over Inter Miami. Alvis Powell and Cincinnati produced a controlled 3-1 victory over Inter Miami in Major League Soccer. Now, if we take a little step back and look to the left, it should be the left if I could scroll up once more. See, if I scroll up once more, you guys should be able to see the next team next team in line is philadelphia union you guys already know who philadelphia union belongs to but just in case you have forgotten for whatever odd reason that might be let's look and see so you guys can see for yourself because i already know who it belongs to so this team philadelphia union philadelphia union belongs to none other than andre blake the brick wall himself our goalkeeper also belongs to Scorey Burke or Corey Burke. There he is. So that's two boys there, two regular boys there playing for Philadelphia Union. And that's a comfortable win there for Philadelphia Union. Player that we're focusing on this occasion is obviously Andre Blake because he has managed to register his second clean sheet on the bounce as Philadelphia Union defeated their rivals, New York City in Major League Soccer. If you click on Philadelphia Union and look back at their games, there you go, another clean sheet there. Two clean sheets on the bounce for Andre Gray. Long may it continue. So I'm actually going to be reverting back to the EFL. I'm going to go back to the EFL there, guys. Um, Shit, before I go to the EFL, let's go over and look at Spartak Moscow. Spartak Moscow, that's another team that doesn't need any introduction. Pretty sure you know who Spartak Moscow belongs to. Um, that is the club belonging to Mr. Shamar Nicholson. Now, we're going to be clicking on their timeline and see. And actually, let's click on the team sheet just in case you guys are wondering, did Shamar Nicholson start? Of course he did. There he is, the number 19, Shamar Nicholson. Now, if we go back and scroll down on the timeline, this one was quite a gripping game towards the latter stages there, as you can see. Spartak Moscow out in front, 72 minutes on the clock. They opened the lead. A minute later, the host found the equalizer. Some good news here for us again. I won't have to scroll too far back to see the information that means much to us. As you can see there, the assist provider, if he's not scoring, he's assisting. It's Mr. Shamar Nicholson with the um, assist for the opening goal for Spartak Moscow against their rivals. So he provided the assist for the opening goal for Spartak Moscow. So long may it continue. It was a draw on this occasion. Hopefully next time they can pick themselves up and get an all-important win. Now if you go to the table and look at the table, it's not that pretty of a reading. They sat there in eighth place, um, 22 games played, and they are sitting on 27 points. You can kind of tell and for yourself, read for yourself why they recruited a player of Shamar Nicholson's caliber needed in every sense of the word. Make up yourself, Travis. How you? How you doing? Let's go back over now to the championship. And this is the game that I was at today, guys. And what a game. I did not, did not predict anything quite like this in the championship entertaining game absolutely entertaining game two one reggae boys on show and a potential reggae boy potential reggae boy um is obviously johnson clark harris as you can see there he's netted two goals um two neatly taken goals uh, at the end of inside both halves i both halves i should say so if you go ahead and look at the lineups you can see that our boy andre gray right there bang on starting for qp uh quite pleased for uh andre came into this game as i said at the start of the live stream came into the game against peter Brown, needing a win uh came into the game with three goal three goals in on three consecutive occasions there unfortunately on this occasion he wasn't able to 
put his name on the score sheet. And there are reasons for that. You could probably have a go at the woodwork. Woodwork denied him there to get himself another gold to his name. Now, if we scroll down and go all the way, because there was just this was an action pack game pretty much from the very start. But what matters to us is the all important reading in the ninth minute. Andre Gray, the provider of the um, opening goal, Queen's Park. Rangers opening goal and he has a habit he's been involved with Queen's Park Rangers opening goals for the last couple of games on the trot Luke Amos if you've not seen that goal do go ahead matter of fact all the goals that were scored um today even the penalty every single goal that was scored today is most certainly worth a rewatch so go ahead and try and see if you can get those um rewatch particularly to take a glimpse or an eye take an eye an analysis of on Andre Gray's assist. And there you can see Johnson Clark Harris. He pulled the equalizer in the 39th minute, just pretty much before half time. The second half was a complete opposite in terms of QPR's performance. It was all Peterborough. Um, full action there, full action pack, second 45 for Peterborough, the away side. And Johnson Clark Harris again. Um, Two goals on this occasion, this time from the penalty spot. And then you have Jack here, Jack Marriott. He was the one who pretty much took it home for Peterborough. There you go with his goal. That would have been Peterborough's third goal to nick all the points. And the reason why I said I did not see this one come in, when you look back at Queen's Park Rangers, they came into this one on a bit of a... Little bump there, little bump in the road, um, being beaten. Click on that one for you guys. There you go, Andre Gray's name on the score sheet, and why not? Unfortunately, they lost that one against Nottingham Forest on the road. So you was you would have expected them to bounce back. Had they bounced back, the table would have looked a lot different for Queens Park Rangers. They would have been sat here, guys, had they gotten that all important win against Peterborough, and it's probably aggravated a few of the Queen's Park Rangers fans given that they've lost to Peterborough who was sat in the 23rd sat in the 23rd position sat in number 23 in the league table on 26 points so surely you would have expected to get a result but Queen's Park but Peterborough Peterborough probably came up with a surprise for Queen's Park Rangers on their home soil so, as I said, guys, had they got in that all-important win against Peterborough, they would have been sat up in fifth. So, next up for Queen's Park Rangers, this is where it gets even more entertaining, where reggae boys are concerned. I know you guys will be pleased to know after the international break. This is what we're working with here in the EFL Skybet Championship. Queen's Park Rangers, Andre Gray hosts... Michael Hector and Bobby Reed's Fulham. Don't know who is going to win this one. This that's a derby. Be interesting to see who comes out on top. It's going to be a Saturday 3 p.m. kickoff. So I'll be keeping my eyes on that game to see who collects the points. Who collects the points? Who knows? Maybe it might be a shared point, one apiece um, for both Andre Gray, Michael Hector, and Bobby Reed. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So, guys, as I said, I was at the Queen's Park Rangers game today for my newspaper, The Voice newspaper. Managed, managed to get a pitch side interview. Do let me know if you guys want that pitch side interview today. Karumi is the only one that's responded so far. Karumi said he doesn't want it today. He wants it tomorrow. So, it looks as if I'm going to have to just hold on to that one and give you guys that tomorrow because i'm here to cater to you guys you guys are the ones who keep the channel going shamar nicholson is on fire yeah yeah all we can do at this point is pray right pray for the vulnerable um pray for people who need praying those who are in unfortunate positions all we can do is pray for them tpr in bad form but andre gray in great form he is in fantastic form at the moment. Wish he had scored, but woodwork denied him. 
I believe at one point he hit the crossbar. Remember him trying to lob the keeper, but that wasn't su successful on that occasion. It would have been a lovely goal, though, uh, but it wasn't successful. Late but checking in a night. Good night and blessings. Mr. Warren. So, Warren, how did your team perform? I think we need to take a look at that, don't we, Warren? I actually don't know the um, the result from that game. I have a feeling Tottenham won. Last time I checked, um, when I came home after watching the game, after watching Queen's Park Rangers, I saw that it was 2 1. I think that might have been the halftime score. So I need to go and check and see how the Premier League results are looking for Mikel Antonio's West Ham and Tottenham. Um, both teams are looking like they want to put up a fight for that 4 4 5th position. Hope Andre Gray can continue on thursday i think he will hot chili hot chili i might have an answer for you for that one might have an answer for you for that one tottenham one two one interesting okay so let's go ahead and look at that one before we do let's go ahead and bring up okay wow okay then um let's go ahead and bring that one up and see how that one is looking so over here talking about Tottenham because one of my supporters supports Tottenham and also West Ham we're talking about West Ham as well because of Mikhail and Tony so if we scroll down I know you guys want to know did he start yes he did start there he is face to face um with Harry Kane Mikhail and Tony are there for West Ham bit of a unfortunate reading there for Mikhail Antonio and West Ham not because they lost the match but because they lost against one of their biggest rivals um there's a deep rivalry here guys between Tottenham and West Ham more than you can ever imagine there's a strong rivalry there between both sides. If we go down and scroll along and see what happened in this game, because I actually don't know how this one ended. Let's see if Mikhail Antonio saw that game. So far, it looks like he did. Was he substituted? I don't think he was substituted. Let's see. Let's scroll down and see if he was... Subs oh, he was substituted. So he went off for... Of course he did. This man, so emotional for him, right? Yarmolenko at the moment. Um, Decisive goal the other night where the Europa League is concerned. Let's add some emphasis to Mikel Antonio because he did provide the assist, the assist for West Ham's opening Europa League goal. So there's some positive there for... West for Mikel Antonio. Yes, he is in finding the back of the net. Um, but midweek, he did manage to find himself an assist. Hopefully, just like Andre Gray, Mikel Antonio can find his shooting boots in the upcoming string of fixtures where their national side is concerned. Yes, I can see that. I'm going to end my um, screen share. Yes, I can see that you guys 3-1. Yes, Spurs beating West Ham there 3-1. Wesley, Wesley, where have you been? Is my mind deceiving me? Have I not seen you in a while? Wesley, how are you doing? How's your weekend? How's your Sunday? Jamaica must try the player Spence at Dave Spence. You think we have what it takes to get Dave, um, Dave Spence? What will it take to get Dave Spence? That's what I should be asking, not do we have what it takes. What will it take to get Dave Spence to play for us and not his country of birth? <laughs> hey, 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 Chili. I want you to leave my friend Warren alone, okay? Um, West Ham don't have a deep Europe, Europa League squad competition in the week affect their performance oh well they knew what they signed up to they knew what i mean by the end of last season they knew exactly what they got themselves into so who do you put that one down to karumi i don't disagree with you but clearly clearly new additions should have been brought into the squad especially when you're playing europa league competition um heavy fixtures their long list of fixtures that's outside of your 
league fixtures and also Carabao Cup, FA Cup as well. So the fixtures just pile on to each other. Fixtures having to be rearranged, rescheduled a whole lot. So you do need a squad that's um, capable of getting you over the line. Honesty and <laughs> honesty and structure. Do we have honesty and structure at the moment? Is there honesty and structure at the moment? It sounds so simple. If anybody is not familiar with um, our national side, to hear that all we need is honesty and structure, you're probably scratching your head and say, really? Isn't that the bare minimum? Isn't that basics? Good, good. Happy to hear that you are okay. Guys, is Karumi the only one that's saying he wants the interview tomorrow? Is it just Karumi? How does this sound? A lunchtime interview with for you guys tomorrow from the Queen's Park Rangers Stadium. How does that sound? Give you guys that tomorrow lunchtime, your time. I think your lunchtime, your time will probably be, be around so five o'clock for me. The clocks have been changed. We're now have the clocks not changed? I thought the clocks changed, guys. Um five hours. I'm five hours ahead of you if you're in Jamaica. Do the rest of the maths. So I can give you guys that. 12 o'clock tomorrow, I can give you an interview. Let me know if that's what you guys want. I'm okay either way, because I've done my part done my written story for the voice newspaper my written match report also gave them their interview and the rest is up to me to share with you guys so let me know what you guys want me to do all i need to do is just hit one button and that's it you've got your interview to watch we have the structure <laughs> oh god that will go well if my all right that's two votes so hot chili and karumi is saying they want that interview tomorrow lunchtime i'm going to listen to you guys because you guys are the ones that keep this channel going you guys are the ones who are here with me all the time look at that i had technical issues and you guys still stayed with me didn't log off that was the perfect cue to actually close off and go and do something else but you didn't you stayed here with me so i'm gonna listen to you guys you guys are saying that you want that interview tomorrow pitch side interview tomorrow you want it tomorrow and i'm going to give it to you for your lunch so i know you're going to be enjoying your lunch um as you sit back and watch that interview it's pitch side so that's a little bit of an indication that it isn't a lengthy interview but nevertheless it definitely has some information there where the our future is concerned, the future for the national side. And progression. And also consistency as well. So there's there's a few bits there, a few details there for you guys to work with. So um, almost been here for one hour. I can't believe it. Uh, three more minutes until it's one hour on the clock, which means it's quarter to 1 a.m. here in London. Just going over my notes, guys, to make sure that I gave you guys everything that I needed to give you tonight. And it looks like I did. And if you miss some of the stuff that I've said, you don't fancy going over it again and watching the videos. What I can do is put some of what's been said, some of what's been mentioned on my Instagram for you guys to give it a read making life really nice and easy for you guys and whilst you are here before you go please do go ahead and hit that like button it will be greatly greatly appreciated next week let's go ahead and bring that up let's look at next week because it's all about international break now no more league games where the reggae boys are concerned sorry where the where the men's team yeah the reggae boys where the reggae boys are concerned Let's see. So, okay, let me go ahead and hit my shared screen. Someone asked earlier on, when is the date for the first game? So you're looking at the times, and obviously the times are UK times because I'm in the UK. So this one says Thursday, 
11 o'clock again i am five hours ahead of you if you are in jamaica elsewhere in the world please do the maths so our first game is on home soil on thursday the 24th of march and that is where we welcome el salvador followed by a trip an away trip to canada where we'll be kicking off on Sunday at 9 o'clock, 9 o'clock UK time, that is. And also, we'll be kicking off on Thursday, the final match in our qualifiers. We already know how this story ends, but let's just still call it World Cup qualifiers because that's exactly what it is. Or World Cup qualifiers comes to an end against Honduras on Thursday, the 31st of March. So this one says two, um, 5 past 2 in the morning. So if you're in Jamaica elsewhere in the world like certain places in the states this game will be played on wednesday for you so the important dates to keep in mind will be thursday sunday and wednesday all coming up all in the coming days let me know how you guys are feeling about those string of matches uh let me know how you guys are feeling about those string of matches there. Everton, Jackson, Everton, you have to do a vote before I tell you who it is. got to give me a vote first. Go let me know. Do you want it tonight or do you want it tomorrow? Lunchtime, the guys in the comment section says they, they say that they want it tomorrow lunchtime. Okay, so you got to let me know. Um, and then I might just tell you who it's with, although I think it's completely obvious. We need to try and win the next set of games. We are dropping like rain in the FIFA rankings. If we stay above 50, we'll make it tough for players. Player transfer. I think you might enjoy my um interview tomorrow there, Warren, in terms of how we should approach the next string of games. That's despite knowing the end of our World Cup qualifying story knowing how it all ends already, even with three games to spare. 6.05 Jamaica time. There you go, guys. For some of you are wondering the kickoff um, for those games. Hmm. Mr. Galaxy, this is another person I haven't seen you in ages. Where have you been? I hope you're okay. Hope you're in good health. Hope your weekend's been well. It's always nice seeing you guys here after a long, long period of not seeing you. Definitely nice seeing you guys. Let's see. I'll say I'll give you guys another maybe, let's say, five minutes. Five more minutes, that would make my time 12.55. And then I'm, I'm already into my Monday, my dreaded Monday. Nobody likes Mondays. Um, let me know. Let me know how you guys... I've been in this position. I know exactly how you... What are you studying? Good luck, by the way, with your uni. Um, I hope you graduate with the highest honours for you, for yourself, and nobody else. Um, what are you studying? Best of luck with your studies. I've been then in that position. I know how intense it can be. So take it one step at a time. Don't overwork yourself. Take care of your health and your well-being, take care of your mental stability, and pace yourself. Environmental science, okay, nice, very, very nice. Good luck with that, definitely good luck with that. Um, who's your club? What I, why do I feel like you support Manchester United? If that's the case, then that's just added pressure along with your studies, isn't it? Big up yourself, Wayne. Always a pleasure seeing you here. How's your weekend been so far? Everton, you've gone all quiet with me. You've got to give me an answer, Everton. You've got to let me know. Let me know the vote. That LOL speaks volumes. I take it that you do support them. God bless you.
Right, guys. Um, I think I said five minutes earlier on. I got about more, two more minutes with you guys, and then I'm going to have to run. If Liverpool going to win the FA Cup too? Wow. So how many trophies are you guys winning this season? You've already won the Carabao Cup. Congratulations again to all the Liverpool supporters. Sitting second in the league. Hunting down City for that number one spot. Although I have to say that quite carefully because we do have Hot Chili. And I don't want to upset. You hear the name, people. Hot Chili. I don't want to upset Hot Chili. The only good thing about Monday is I can get... <laughs> oh, your poor kids. God bless them. Um, but there can be a handful. I don't have kids myself, but yeah, kids can be a handful. I could only imagine, imagine um, what they're like when you want some personal time. Stop dreaming about four trophies. Four trophies? You think you're going to win four trophies? So I'm taking it. You're saying Carabao Cup is already in the bag. So you're saying Carabao Cup, the league. FA Cup and Champions League. Is that what you're saying? Paul Hall needs more time. Tapper definitely got his fair share. Can't argue with that. Rome wasn't built in a day and he had an absolute absolute mountain to climb. Um, that's Mr. Paul Hall. He had a, a mountain to climb. So you can't necessarily judge him. Or Yeah, definitely not. Either way you look at it, you can't judge him based off the last couple of games because... It's different being someone's assistant and then being in the driving seat. It doesn't compare. Sole responsibility falls into your lap. So it's not exactly the same line of work. Fresh God, how are you? Fresh, I know you're having a lovely weekend because certain team isn't stressing you out. So I know you had a lovely weekend. What's on the dinner menu, Fresh? I might come over for something to eat, although I've already had my dinner which I enjoyed. Liverpool winning all trophies on offer. Oh, wow. Didn't realise I had that many um Liverpool supporters. I don't mind you guys, to be honest. I don't even mind Manchester United fans, even though I like to poke at them whenever they try to come at me about me and my team. I am well. I am well. I enjoyed myself today. I was watching... Queen's Park Rangers hosting Peterborough United. So being at that game, watching the game live in press, you just actually reminded me something there, Evans. Another thing as well, um, Andre Gray's work rate, absolute menace. Like watching football in person is different to watch to watching it on TV for obvious reasons. I think the only time you're likely to see a player like Andre Gray is when obviously the camera is focused on him. Be it the ball is at the feet, at his feet, or he's trying to regain possession. But he's an absolute menace. It's good to see him out there. Um, or it was good to see him out there getting frustrated, visibly frustrated, because he wanted more for him from himself and perhaps from his teammates as well. So that was nice to see him getting um frustrated and trying desperately to get his name on the score sheet, and rightly so. So yeah, he's got the right mentality right work rate have to big up patrick Vieira. have to big up patrick Vieira, the ex arsenal legend Be careful, you know, fresh is present. I don't want you upsetting fresh. Sunday menu, chicken, rice and peas, mac pie. We did the switch over the... <laughs> oh, wow. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful evening, Warren. Judging by that menu... Your, your your evening's going well. I don't begrudge you. Definitely don't begrudge you. Okay, so, and I hope you guys watch this interview tomorrow because 
you guys have voted that you want it tomorrow, so I'm going to be giving you that pitch side interview there. You got Patrick Vieira, past Arsenal players, the only black coach in the only black coach, only dark skin um, manager in the Premier League. I have to add some emphasis on that because that is representation at its highest quality. Obviously, we want him to succeed for clear reasons. We use the B team to beat City. I wish I could speak like that. Roran, how are you, Roran? I am well. I cannot complain. I am absolutely well, um, in good health. So how are you? Have you been? How have you been? And before, guys, before I um, forget my manners, thank you. Thank you so much for joining me for my live stream. We've been speaking for over an hour. I don't understand how time flies once you hit that broadcast button and get in the rhythm of talking about football and going off and talking about different stuff. Time definitely flies. Belly well full but hungry for a cup from any of my teams. Which cup are you referring to, Warren? <laughs> Which cup? You must have more than one team because I know you're not speaking about a team in, in North London, Warren. I know you know better than that. <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe you're putting it down to the regular girls to win your cup. If that's the case, I can't argue with you. Or maybe you're speaking about individual players that play for certain clubs. If that's the case, definitely can't argue. Maybe you're talking about your countryman Raheem Sterling at Manchester City. If that is the case, Warren, I can't argue with you. So, guys, I'm going to drop that one for you tomorrow. Lunchtime, your lunchtime, your time. So that would be five PM my time. <laughs> Chili, I want you to leave my friend alone. <laughs> Who you think going to win the Premier League? Well, it's either Man City. I have to say Man City, don't I? Because Chili won't be happy with me. But it's either Man um, Man City or Liverpool, if we're being honest. <laughs> it's only Manchester City and uh, and Liverpool at the moment. Be interesting to see who finishes in the fourth position. So my teams at least. So we got Arsenal, Tottenham, West Ham, and Manu going for fourth position. So that is tense. So it'll be interesting to see who gets fourth come May. Jamaica, Canada, Spurs. So what are you say in the only cup I see? <laughs> I forgot that you're based in Canada. Um <laughs> oh gosh. Um hey, who knows? Who knows? Strange things do happen, Warren. Manchester City, but it will be a strong clash top of the table clash in a in a semi cup in a in a final of a fa cup semi final that's going to be mouth watering um all right guys all right let me give you guys Two more minutes. It's now saying one one hour and 30 minutes. Let me give you guys two more minutes. And then I'm going to go. It's just actually gone past 1 a.m. in the morning. I was going to say something, but I don't want you guys to, to judge me. Um, I am feeling like I need to go and eat again. Um, I think I might just do that. At the end of this, I might go and just some food in the microwave. City will beat them three times if needed. <laughs> oh, City fans. City, City fans.
So I've got another two more minutes with you guys. Then I'm going to actually update my social media because I haven't actually done any updates today. I'm going to update my social media. And <laughs> Karumi, I've just seen your Instagram comment. Um, I didn't see it earlier on. I think that's probably as I was walking through the doors. <laughs> Wonder what you're referring to. Wonder what you're referring to there, Karumi. I was keeping an eye on the Canadian Premier League um, because of Alex Marshall, but I was finding it hard to like get stuck in. Uh, obviously, accessibility is um, one of the reasons, but is there, is there much difference between the Canadian Premier League and the JPL? Honest question. Um, be interesting to know what you guys think. Me, it's cold, but I'm hungry, Warren. I'm, I'm not even concerned. Chili, chili is cold. Which chili are you referring to? Hot chili? <laughs> oh, God. I should have actually had some um, dessert earlier on. It is bed it's bedtime, Karumi, but if I'm hungry, bet your last dollar that I'm going to eat before I go to my bed. I probably shouldn't. It's like 1 a.m. in the morning. I have no business eating at this time, but Actually, maybe I might have some snacks and then make my way to my bed. Don't forget to keep an eye on my community tab, guys, because that is where I will be giving you that little bit of countdown um, before my live stream, my live premiere of my pitch side interview. Um gets on the way let me just do one final check or something quickly all right um okay all right guys um i'm a little bit tired i started to get a little bit tired my eyes are starting to close on me um, so thank you again for blessing me with your time. Thank you for sitting here with me for over an hour. <laughs> Cold like spurs. <laughs> you guys are something. What's your favorite dessert? Oh, that's a good question. Um, not sure if I have a... Ooh. I do like sweet potato pudding. Sweet potato pudding with... Some vanilla ice cream, that's nice. Red velvet cake, that's nice as well. I think it depends on my mood, but sweet potato pudding, you can't go wrong. Well, you can if you don't know how to make it, but sweet potato pudding. Yeah, give me that any day. That's nice. That is nice. How you compare the league? Um, quality, quality of play. Um, not necessarily the players, but the quality, the ball movement. Um, the interest as well, the promotion, the accessibility. Um, so that's why I'm asking you because maybe you have more access because of your region being based in Jamaica. Maybe you have more access to the Canadian Premier League. But that's why I'm asking you, um, is there much difference between their league and our league on home soil? Maybe Warren is the best person to ask that because... Um, he must, must be watching Canadian Premier League. <laughs> that did make me laugh, Karumi. Uh, definitely made me laugh. No, seems like it's something I'm missing out on, though. No, I have not. I have not. But you would big up Saint Anne, wouldn't you, Warren? <laughs> I don't blame you. I do not blame you. Bless up yourself, Karumi. 
I'm going to eat, guys. I'm going to eat before I go to my bed. I'm hungry. I don't know if I'm going to eat the rest of my dinner. Which wouldn't be a good idea because it would mean I won't have no Sunday, Monday tomorrow. So maybe I have to just fall back on some snacks. Ride this one out until tomorrow. Oh, my God. How did I not mention bread pudding? That Karumi, that is, I have that, I kid you not. For the last couple of weeks, I've been having that every single Sunday. Every single Sunday, I've been having that with, with ice cream. And I only didn't make it tonight just because I basically came home late after the game. So I came home late after the game, had my dinner, and then I started looking back at the other um, games so I can put together the live stream for you guys. But bread pudding, how did I not mention bread pudding? Oh, my God. Yes, I love bread pudding. <laughs> I love, love, love bread pudding. Oh, man. I actually have bread pudding, but to make it, I don't know. Oh. I won't really need to do much to it. I just need to put it in the oven for like 15 minutes. But I usually share it with my cousin and he's asleep now. So I might have that tomorrow. I'll wait until he comes home from school and have it with him because I, I usually share it with him. <laughs> you know what? I can't argue with that. Fair play. Fair play. I can't argue with that. It is Sunday, Monday for real. It really is. So, yeah, I can go and eat my my rice and peas and my oxtail. They make it traditional way. Next time you're in, I will. I will. I will be checking that out. Because I said next time I'm home, I want to um just tour the island. It's crazy. Last time I went to, I was up and down. Um, St. Mary. Loved, loved driving through St. Mary. Um, did some sightseeing as well. Enjoyed it. So, yeah, I think next time I'm going to go um, St. Elizabeth because I've only been there once. And that was when I was like in, that's when I was in like prep school. Yeah, that was when I was in prep school. But I do remember it and I loved it. Um, enjoyed, enjoyed the occasion. It was a school trip, by the way, guys. Um, that was a school trip. In the early early two thousands, um, and I haven't been back since, so I, I want to go back to Saint Elizabeth on my next trip. And yeah, um, get to know the other parishes. Can't always stay east, east, east all the time. Move around, but given that Jamaica is so expensive as well, like I want to make it my duty to go ahead and um, branch out, travel. Um, the rest of, across the rest of the parishes because it costs too much, costs an arm and a leg to go to Jamaica. So it doesn't make sense staying in one parish. You're robbing yourself blind, completely robbing yourself. You heard what the man said. You heard IT push. Pick up IT push and Karumi and all the guys in the in comment section for helping me with my um, shared screen earlier on. Oh, really? Really? Yeah, I mean, that was good memory, although I was literally just a, just a little child back then. I enjoyed St. Elizabeth, definitely enjoyed St. Elizabeth. So I want to go back, want to go and um, have a look around. Um, definitely going back to St. Mary because I enjoyed it, enjoyed St. Mary. And I have a friend from there as well. Made a few new friends, um, but I have a friend from St. Mary. Uh, so I'm going to be going back when I'm next in Jamaica at some point this year not sure when but definitely at some point this year can't go through a year and not go home the only time that actually happened um, recently was with COVID for obvious reason not being able to travel but as long as it's feasible um, financially and also health-wise as well, then, yeah, a trip back home is a must. It gets to a point, everyone, you know, guys, you know, for those of us who live overseas, it gets to a point where you look at your skin and you're just like, 
yeah, you need some sun. You need some real sun. My skin's starting to look like that. Now, I know it's going to get darker when the sun eventually comes out, but still not going to be enough. You need the real authentic Jamaican sun beating down on your skin. Um, and beach, needs some beach day as well. Can't go home and not go beach, Need some beach day. I know someone who's from um, Santa Cruz. I know somebody is from Santa Cruz. They probably know this, the person you're um, referring to. Wow. They probably, I'm take um I'm gonna take a picture because they might actually know they might know I'll ask, I'll ask them if they know who you're referring to because they do like to get about when they're in Jamaica and they love their parish love Saint Elizabeth and who wouldn't love their parish as well I've never met no one who don't love their parish You have to, you have to go to the beach. And you have to, you have to go to the beach. If you eat meat, you have to go and get your jerk chicken. No doubt. You have to. Those are just must. There's no point going home if you're not gonna do either. And the regular fast food spots. Same fast food spots we get over here, but for some reason in Jamaica it tastes better. So weird, like it just tastes so much better. Um, simple stuff, simple stuff stays so good. Even the bun, just, just nice and soft, not like the ones over here, they break your teeth, they just rock hard. Obviously, that's because of the cold, but I've noticed even in the summer, it's just not the same. It's hard, they'll definitely do damage to your gums. Um, so yeah, everything about J Jamaica, everything just tastes different, even the drinks bigger tastes different everything tastes different and you get the same bigger in foreign so why it tastes different but i don't know um one thing i am happy about though guys um my local shop don't even know why i'm telling you guys this my local shop started selling i don't know how they managed to pull this one up they started to sell the um vienna sausages that was one thing i remember i've never in my life i've been living here for what um how long have i been here whoa i don't even know how long have i actually been in this country um i have to do a quick let's see how long have i been here when did i how long have i actually been here i feel like i don't even want to know the exact <laughs> wow <laughs> too long um okay so yeah in all my years of being in this country i've never actually seen the vienna sausages but they popped up which is weird and i last time i was in jamaica in um around november time i went to i was in kingston i was like trying to like see if i can bring some over with me and i'm bumped into this guy that works for grace and i was saying to him i was like why why you guys give us the fake version in england and he was like, that's down to the government, et cetera, and all those other bits. And then lo and behold, I come back and I went to my local shop and I'm just like, what? What? Last year they introduced Bigfoot. Now we have Bigfoot. Never used to have Bigfoot. We've got Bigfoot now. We have the Grace Tin Mackerel. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this, but it's just nice to get stuff from home, like authentic stuff from home. <laughs> Warren, I didn't want to bring up Kentucky, Warren. <laughs> it was inevitable that the conversation was going to go there, wasn't it? I didn't want to bring it up, but wow. Wow, wow, wow. I don't understand. It's like as soon as I'm off the plane, that's the, if I'm not having my jerk chicken, you got to find that KFC. You got to find it. And I make it my duty to make sure I have as much as I can whilst I'm there as well. Because the ones over here just don't taste right. The skin is all slippery. If that gets stuck in the back of your throat, God go with you. Because 
Hmm. Yeah, um, it's just different. It tastes raw as well. I don't know about you guys, KFC in your country, but KFC over here smell raw. Undercook, definitely undercook, and I, I don't, I'm not convinced that they season it neither. Surely not. Big up yourself, Tennessee Lewis. Tennessee, I got an interview coming for you. Pitch side interview from today's game: Queens Park Rangers versus Peterborough. I'm gonna give you a interview lunchtime, your time, Tennessee. So put that one in your diary for me. Um, nice little interview. It's only a couple of minutes long because that's what happens when you're doing mixed zone interviews. You don't usually get long a long time with the player because obviously they have other places to be. So it's yes, so a quick interview, so it won't take up much of your time. Let's round this one off to one hour and 30 minutes. Can't believe I've been speaking to you guys for one hour and um, 30 minutes, but I enjoyed the last um, couple minutes of that conversation, drifting off and having slightly different um topic of conversation they were food this is this is all karumi fall i think it was karumi that started it with dessert or warren one of you started it off with dessert and now we ended up here um no complaints my end i will be back on let's see don't talk about oh jesus warren <laughs> um it will be 5 p.m. UK, my time. I'm five hours ahead of Jamaica. The guys in the comment section voted for lunchtime. So I'm giving it to them, Jamaica, lunchtime time. Um, So that's 5 p.m. my time. Don't talk about juicy beef. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. And they say that we live a better life. If only they knew. The only thing that's missing from... um jamaica from the for the average person surely is money in your pocket obviously you get a look you know you need your health to be intact but money if you want to go to jamaica go to jamaica empty pocket that's for sure that's what you're planning on doing it doesn't make sense taking that trip um but yeah jamaica is a beautiful beautiful country something so basic oh man i wish i could a cheesy beef patty would do me good right now. Yeah, that would do me nice. Oh, Warren, 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 Warren. Right, guys. Um, as I've said before, do I mean Scotland? So basically, Tennessee. When since you live in Scotland, I never knew you live in Scotland, Tennessee. You kept that one quiet. I know. All along, I thought you live in America, Tennessee. I never knew you live in Scotland. I swear to you, I never knew you live in Scotland. <sighs> oh, man. I never knew you live in Scotland. But here's a video, guys. Um, I know you was talking about Johnson Clark Harris earlier on. Um, he picked up an injury there. Um, was wobbling off in the latter stages. His latter latter minutes of the Peterborough 3-1 win over Queen's Park Rangers. And I did manage, if you kept an eye on my Instagram, you would have seen a few pictures there with um, Clark Harris on the ground. Um, let's see if I can actually show you the video of Johnson Clark Harris with him walking around. And if you listen carefully Johnson Clark Harris. I think this is a good way to end the show, guys. Johnson Clark Harris giving Peterborough fans something to cheer about. Um, being in bearing in mind, guys, that they are right at the bottom of the table alongside Derby County. Um, life in the English Football League Championships not looking good for them at the moment. So they definitely, definitely would have welcomed that lit that win. They're sitting just one point above Derby County in the EFL Championship. So with his two goals, Johnson Clark Harris, he gave Peter Bruss fans something to think to sing about at long last so here you go you can have a listen to the peterborough fans pretty much enjoying the occasion for their away trip visit to queen's park rangers have a listen <laughs> So 
so there you have it guys um peterborough fans expressing their love for their club love to hear that when their fans are in high spirits and enjoying the occasion they made a trip all the way to london and i know for a fact it was definitely worth it i knew it because i was thinking I was like, there's no way I, I you lived in scotland all these years and i did not know that okay well i hope you have a safe um safe trip back to the states do enjoy your time whilst you're there in scotland um what's the weather like is it cold must be cold up in scotland thank you thank you it I'm actually quite proud of it. I'm so proud of it that I'm going to play it for you guys once more. Let's go. You think this is good, IT? You think this is good? Wait until you see the interview. Then you're going to tell me about um, good quality. But I like this video so much that I'm going to spin it for you guys once more. Um, Johnson Clark Harris for Peterborough. Playing for Peterborough, I should say. Two goals there at the double in um, QPR's 3-1 defeat on their home soil and this is how the Peterborough fans reacted to that much needed victory. Oh, God, I love that. Um, and I'm glad that you guys appreciate that video because I loved filming it. Rainy and cold sound like the good old British weather up there in Scotland for you. I hope it changes. Starting to feel a little bit more warmer here in um, London. So I hope you get more of the same. Oh, really? <laughs> now, they should have known better. They should have known better definitely should have known better but guys i cannot thank you enough it's almost been two hours um since i started this live stream i do have to go now oh thank you you're making me so proud of myself i can't wait for you guys to see this interview tomorrow comment i'm going to be keeping my eyes on you guys so i'm going to be looking for comments in the comment section when i drop that interview tomorrow um relatively short interview less than five minutes it won't take up much of your time so do give it a watch like and share as soon as i drop that tomorrow at lunchtime or whenever you're given the chance to to watch it like i said i'm going to be keeping my eyes on the comment section to see if you guys are commenting thank you so much for sitting with me for the best part of almost two hours i don't know how you guys do it but um massive amounts of love and appreciation to you guys um each and every time i'm going to be back on here again during the week hopefully some of you can join me on live stream and we could discuss the preview we can do a preview for the reggae girl for the reggae boys my apologies opening match just a reminder for those of you who might have forgotten the dates there for the reggae boys next three upcoming welcome qualifiers games as they bring that qualifying cycle to an end first up on thursday and these are uk times i am five hours ahead of you if you are based in jamaica there's a night at um Five past 11, we kick things off on home soil at the office at the National Stadium against El Salvador. We then move on to Sunday where we'll be on an away trip to Canada. That match kicks off at 9.05 and then we close things off for our World Cup qualifiers back on home soil against Honduras. And that says 2.05 on Thursday. So as it says... um as it says 205 on thursday that game will obviously be play, played on a wednesday so next week the dates that you need to bear in mind um you need to bear in mind thursday sunday and also wednesday and i'm going to be back on here during the week throughout the week next week's looking busy for us we're going to be talking all things reggae boys previewing and reviewing the games as they come thank you guys i hope you do enjoy the rest of your sunday if you haven't had sunday dinner yet what are you waiting on i hope that monday is kind to you and you have a positive start 
to your week. I will be seeing you again possibly tomorrow in those comments section after I have dropped that pitch side interview. And then obviously we'll be doing some preview of the El Salvador game ahead of Thursday's fixtures guys thank you so much again for blessing me with a moment of your time definitely cannot do these live streams without you without you these live streams would probably have lasted a minute if that thank you so much for joining me in the comments section and making it interactive for myself and entertaining as well i've laughed a couple of times nothing is better than laughter Thank you guys um, for joining me. I hope that you have a pleasant week. And if I don't see you um, until, if I don't see you by Thursday, then I'll see you when I see you. Until then, take care of you, yourself, your family, and all those um, around you. Again, thank you guys for blessing me with your time. Until next time. I'm on Barnes, and you're watching Talawa TV with Crystal Davis.